hey guys. Um, just a little bit tired. Two and a half years of not working and taking a crash course in two days on the concrete floor. Anybody that cooks knows exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, you know the routine. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, you know, leave your comments, all that stuff down below. I'm doing a quick video why I'm on cameras beyond me. Sorry if you can't see me. I try to get in the shade, letting Biscuit play outside for a little while. Um, I've just got a couple of thoughts. One, Miss Holly on Common Sense True Crime actually gave me an idea about trying to get a hold of Tim Mullins. I think I want to get a hold of him and see if I can get him to talk to me because I, I've got some questions I would really like to ask him. Um, also, I would like to ask you all what your thoughts are as far as an idea that was brought up to me about what I could do for a couple of videos until we hear some news about summer. And that is to do like an uh, in-depth questionnaire maybe. Uh, let me let us get to know you kind of deal. And I think I want to start with my co-host, Jen, no filter. And let's just learn what we can about her and what got her into the true crime genre and why she's here and why did Summer break her heart the way she has, you know, the whole the whole case. I mean, I know why it broke her heart, but you know what I mean. Why it's captured her heart. Why it's captured all of our hearts as much as it has. And I think after Jen, if you all like it, like the idea, and want to see that, we're going to go with um, John Davis, see if we can't do one on him, maybe him and Brandy. We'll do Don B, see how, you know, he got into it, what his life was like before YouTube. We're going to find out or try to find out what all of their lives were like before they entered the YouTubian galaxy. I mean, wouldn't you all like to know that? I mean, it's just a thought. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I know there's people that I would like to know about. Maybe if we're, you know, if y'all like the idea, possibly we could get some others, you know, like maybe Molly, or maybe we can get JLR on here to find out about his, you know, what got him into suing people. But getting back to the Summer Wells case, Tim Mullins, if you see this video or if anybody that knows how to get a hold of him can get a hold of him, please let him know that I want to talk to him. I mean, surely he can't be intimidated by me. I only have 3,000 subs. I mean, I've never really attacked the Wells. I've never really attacked him personally. I just would like to know what caused him to get into this case and not the line that he fed us on the videos, but the real reason. And who's actually paying him? And if he's not getting paid, then why is he doing it? I mean, this has been what, he's been on the case maybe nine months. Well, no, he says he did. He showed up two weeks, supposedly, after she went missing. So, he's been on it for a year. If he's not getting paid, then why is he calling himself the media manager? And if he is getting paid, who's paying him? And what exactly is his job? Because, obviously, Candace has told him that she don't want him around. She doesn't want to have anything to do with him. She made that plane after Don went to jail. So, you guys tell me what you think. 
leave me your thoughts theories and all that stuff in the description box below and let's see where this can go let's see if we can get a conversation going with mr tim mullins and find out what is really going on with him and let me know you guys about what what i was saying about interviewing or not interviewing but just chatting with um you know, Jen and John Davis, Don B, um, Holly from uh, Common, nah, Common Sense True Crime. I can't get it out. Um, and a few others that I would like to find out what got them into it. What, what drew them into the true crime genre. What was their lives like before? And... Maybe we'll get to know a little bit more about the people that we sit and watch every day and why they think the way they do. And maybe we'll just learn something that we didn't know before. Don't forget to hug your kids, call your parents, tell them you love them. Don't forget to love on your pets and thank your maker for every day that you wake up. And we'll see you next time, guys.